Hello students, and it's time once again for the big project. So, in this time, you know, we'll have our rubric and we'll go and take a look at what it says. And of course, basically, it'll be doing all these things. Always make sure to check your rubric. So, anyway, when we go and hit this download, we're going to download this file. What's going to pop up is going to be this one. You'll wind up having this. You'll have one of these guys with two separate tables. This is what you're going to start out with. And what you're going to create out of this is something like this. So, we're going to first make ourselves a relationship between our bosses and employees. So this way, when I click the boss, it'll go and show me this sort of stuff inside of it. So I'll see how, uh, how many people each person is in charge of. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this information we have right here, and we're going to make these two queries. So you'll notice now I'm calculating not only the hours worked and hours paid, but now I'm calculating if they have overtime. Now for the employees, we're going to say that any hours over 30 is overtime, and for the bosses, any over 40. And of course, if they qualify for overtime, let me know, yes or no, and how many hours they have of overtime. So example, this person worked 13 hours more in overtime. Then of course, we're going to calculate how much their normal pay is, so you know, how much they get paid per, you know, by the hour. So this guy had 30 hours of $31, therefore it was at $930. But then we're also going to calculate their overtime pay. For the employees, we're going to assume that every hour of overtime, they get paid half added on to their normal pay. So, for example, this guy worked, you know, 10 hours at $14 an hour, but it's half of that because the base pay is already calculating the normal pay. So therefore, that 10, 140, he gets 70 extra dollars. So once you get these numbers, you know it's right. So we're going to calculate their overtime pay as well, and then what their total pay is altogether. Same thing with bosses. Now bosses, we're assuming, are working 40, not 30. And however, their overtime pay, though, is twice as much normal pay instead of time and a half. So basically, this guy got 5 hours at 40, 5 by 40, Look, oh, it's 200. So the numbers in each of these fee these queries is going to be slightly different. But the same thought applies. You're going to figure out how many hours they worked. Do they qualify for overtime? How many overtime hours they have? What's their base pay? How much did they get paid in overtime? And what's their total pay? So once you're able to do this, and once your numbers match mine, you know that you got it correct. So... That once you have all that in, save it, close it out, submit it through Moodle. Thank you very much. You have a great day.